You see this? You see this? Tino. Oh, 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 now we got a group four. We got a group four. Group, 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 group four. This little dog. He's my pride and joy. He's my diva fied little dude. Right? Yes, you are. And he had a very exciting day today. Didn't you, Tino? Are you spoiled? Are you? Tell me how spoiled you are. How spoiled are you? Yes, you're, you're spoiled. You're a good boy. Uh, my diva fied little Tino. I'll be the first to admit when I make a mistake. And today I made a huge mistake. This whole YouTube thing is a whole brand new thing for me. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm realizing I probably need to run my camera 24 seven. <laughs> Why? Because that's the only way I can pretty much guarantee that I'm going to get the good stuff. Today, I missed a huge chunk. Something that totally should have been documented from the beginning. How my little Tino got a group four placement. You see, it all started in the Chihuahua ring. We had three shows in two days. I'm showing Echo. I go in, I show, she gets winner's bitch for the point, which means I go back in for best of breed. Who is in there with me? Tino and Renee. Tino hasn't seen me in several weeks. What does he do in the ring? Practically pisses on my legs, acting like a complete ass, as if I'm a bitch in heat. Totally mortified. Renee and I devise a plan. If I get winner's bid for the second show, I'm going to hand Echo off to someone else so that I'm not in the ring. Pretty smart, right? I thought so. So that's exactly what we did. Echo got winner's bitch. I handed her off to Savannah. Bam. I go running for the other side of the building. He was still acting like an ass. Clearly he could still smell me on her. Not as asshole-ish as the first go around, but still ask ask. It has become very clear that I have divified my dog. I own it. Day two, show three. She's been bathed to get me off of her. We go for it again. We get winner's bitch again. I hand her off again and I go running even further outside of the building. He gets breathed. Yay! This means he's going to groups. I present to you the 15 minutes preceding Figgy's Valentino's Delight, AKA Tino, his very first group placement. Enjoy. So yeah, um, my Tino got free today and he goes nuts every time he sees me so I'm having to hide from Renee and Tino in the back corner where all of the poop smell is. Now I've spent a lot of time with different professional handlers over the years and I have watched their clients and the handlers struggle over divified dogs. You see, we love our dogs. We spoil our dogs. And the handler's job is to earn those points and to get those group placements. We owners can ruin that opportunity very, very easily just by being in the building. I have watched handlers struggle with owners begging them to please get out. Let them do their job. Today, I found myself struggling as an owner, but also as a person that realizes what we owners do to handlers. It was a very awkward position to be in. I'm seriously struggling with the idea of sitting back here. Oh my God. So 
I'm seriously struggling. I, I have to watch. I have to watch. I am struggling. I'm one of those people. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, Renee. They're over there. Oh my god. Are we out there yet? Oh, there's some. There's some. Oh. There's Renee. Where's my dog? No. No. Oh, yeah. Straight. Yes. Oh, I'm going to pee a little bit. Straight. Straight. Oh, my God. Straight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's my little dog out there. Is it? Which one? The little chihuahua. Oh, my God. You are the coolest dog I know, but here, no, I am partial. <laughs> Just a little? <laughs> a little bit partial. I was smart enough to capture that for you, and for me, and for Renee, to see just how hard it was for me. The struggle is real. But the appreciation is most definitely through the roof. Oh my God, we got our first group place. Oh my God. Tino. You are the bomb. Renee, I love you to pieces.